people who know how to handle themselves should be entitled to have as much as they like to drink. I don't like people who drink on an empty head, obviously, that is a comedian's bane. <laughs> Apart from that, but they come up with one-size-fits-all measures now. 14 units of alcohol a week, regardless of how big you are, how much experience you have of metabolising the stuff. <laughs> 14 units. And if you don't order in units, unlike the chief medical officer, who must be a right old laugh on a Friday night, I would imagine. <laughs> I'll just have a unit of rosé, please. <laughs> that is how he talks. He's fucking dubbed on the telly. 14 units is about five or six pints, roughly the point at which most of us start thinking about switching to shorts, basically. <laughs> at your weekly... In 1971, when the government first thought it might be appropriate to start interfering with your drinking habits, they released guidelines then to suggest you drink no more than 56 units. <laughs> I'm not making it up. 56 units. And they felt that needed saying. Clearly some people were going beyond that. I mean, nowadays that would be more like a challenge than a ceiling, wouldn't it? Can you do the 56? Oh, you get a little app on your phone that pings when you've done the half ton. Come on. We can do this. It's still only Thursday. you spread that out evenly, you would be unable to drive, not just legally, but actually unable to drive, every night of the week, which I think is quite impressive. I'm obviously not condoning drink driving. I don't recommend it. I don't even enjoy it anymore, to be honest. It's, uh, it's too complicated these days, isn't it? You, you don't want that sloshing around in the car when you're trying to send a text or something. It just gets annoying. But, uh, 